What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to episode 33 of our Liverpool FC playthrough here in Football Manager 2016. Hopefully you guys are good. Today I have for you guys a fairly short episode. Today we're going to be taking on Napoli in the Champions League. If you missed last episode it was against Manchester United. Go check it out as always, series playlist in the description. You can catch up on all the episodes there. Anyway, as I mentioned, today we are taking on Napoli in the Champions League. We haven't played any games since the last episode, so today is going to be a shorter episode. But I thought we'd have a look over our Champions League group, kind of where things are at right now. As you can see, we are in Group H. And if we look at it here, you can see ourselves and Barcelona are on 9 points each, Napoli on 6 points. Now, the way that the league sorting works in this competition is head-to-head. -head. But I don't know how it works if there's a three-way tie on points. And if it comes down to goal difference which I'm not sure what happens, um, you know, we're going to need to have a good goal difference. I'm hoping that won't be the case. I'm hoping today we can beat Napoli, which would secure us a spot with one game left. Our last game of this kind of tournament uh, in this group stage is against Barcelona. So, I mean, there's easier teams we could have to play uh, for that last spot. So, if we were to lose today against Napoli, it might come down to that last Barcelona game, knowing that we have to beat them in order to qualify, which isn't a situation I'd really like to find us in. Anyway, looking at the stats here, you can see Barcelona's Neymar really been a standout performer. Uh, as has Gabbiadini, he's been performing well. And, of course, both those players are in our group. Both of them have five goals. So he is the man to look out for. I think he scored four goals against us in our last game against Napoli. If we just take a quick look at that here, you can see, yeah, he got four goals. Rondon got one. Lacazette got two. Coutinho got one for us, but it finished 5-3. Looking at the squad for today's game, a few injuries. You guys know about the Sturridge injury if you watched last episode. Barboza also out injured, of course, after the last game. He's out with torn uh, knee ligaments for two months, which, you know, could be could be better, I guess. And we've also got Cataldi out for five to seven weeks. On the bench, Goetze and Coutinho are both there, but they're really not fit enough to play. And as a result, uh, our front two is going to be Lacazette and Embolo, with Firmino playing as the centre-attacking mid. All in all, I'm pretty happy with the team at our disposal. I'm just doing one last quick change around, I think, here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Bazaar as the um, defensive midfielder. You can see it's a role he can kind of play. Of course, he can also play centre-back, so it probably makes more sense to have him as the defensive midfielder. I'm also going to move Tielemans into that roaming playmaker role for us today. So it's not going to be an easy game, and we are at home for this Napoli game, so I'm hoping we can do fairly well. Of course, last time we played at home in Europe for a live comment was against Barcelona, which we won. Looking at our team, fairly match fit. Bazaar struggling a little bit. That almost makes me want to swap him out for Thiago Maia. I think I'm going to do that. I don't really want to chance Bazaar on 85% condition. My general threshold is around, eight, I'd say 90% is where I'll start considering dropping players. You'll notice Klein here on 88% condition. I'm going to keep playing him just because we don't really have a great backup right back. If he starts getting really tired though, Gomez is on the bench for us. So yeah, I think this is the team we're going to go with here. We are missing a few players due to injuries. It's a little bit of a pain, but I'm hoping we can put in a good performance here. Of course, taking on a team who thrashed us last time out. Since then, um, we, we've kind of, you know, rested players. We've we've bounced back. We beat um, Legia twice. We beat Barcelona. A win here would be great, but uh, it's not going to be easy. If we win this, I believe we're going to have extended our unbeaten run to over 10 games, which would be absolutely fantastic if we could do it. Um, defensively, I didn't really talk about this last episode, but defensively, our recent form has been really, really impressive. I don't think we've conceded more than one goal in about two months. I think the last time we conceded more than one goal was actually when we lost 5-3 uh, to Arsenal in a pretty memorable live comm not too long ago. But we're on the attack here, Mbolo. Is that Brill Mbolo getting off the score sheet? Of course it is. Two minutes in. And the Swiss international, who we signed for 20 million two and a half years ago now, well, he's been getting some goals for us. He got one last game against Manchester United in the 3-1 win right at the death. He's got an early one here this time out. Zuma with a massive header. Firmino nods it on and then Mbolo just reading the play. A player who we do need to step up with. Storage being out for two months and Lacazette not being in the best goal-scoring form. Mbolo is a player we're going to have to look towards because he is one of the higher scoring play. Oh, gosh. Okay, thank God. Mignolet's injured, but I have Consigli on the bench. I was panicking because I think it was a few episodes ago now. I said goalkeeper injuries seem a little bit more prominent in FM 16. But we do have Consigli here, 
who's going to come and play in goal for us. He's a good goalkeeper as well. We signed him for, I think, £3 million in the summer. He's more than capable of filling Mignolet's shoes. So that's a relief. There was a, a moment there, as it said, Mignolet was injured in the top right, where I just thought to myself, oh, crap, what have I done? But um, no, we have got a goalkeeper on the bench for today's game. It's something that... As I mentioned, and I'll mention again, like last year, you could get away with it. But this year, I do feel like goalkeepers do get injured a little bit more. There's been a lot of changes to injuries this year in FM and goalkeeper injuries. Uh, I think they're more realistically prominent, which is a good thing. Because I, like, I think I had one goalkeeper injury during a game in about probably 20-odd seasons of playing last year. But anyway, I'm rambling away. Real and Bolo scored again. We've just hit Napoli on the counter. That was a great little counter. Firmino as well with his second assist of the game. Lacazette with the second assist, and uh, Firmino, with the shot, rebounded back, but Mbolo was there. I've just realised I've used the term second assist, which is like a hockey term for the pass before the assist, which actually, I feel like would be quite a nice thing if it was made more of in football, because it'd be interesting to see you know, what other players are really involved in the build-up play for goals that don't get the credit of getting assists. But anyway, it's 2-0 here. This is a really, really good performance at the moment. I'm not going to sit and get too comfortable just yet, but a win here, as I mentioned, and I'll mention again, would secure us a Champions League knockout stage spot, which would be fantastic. We knew this was going to be a tricky game. Napoli certainly have goals in them, though, so we are going to have to be wary of that. Azuma makes a great header. Now we spread the play, and Bolo is going to be looking for his hat-trick now, the Swiss. Uh, he's a player who I don't think he's got a senior hat-trick yet, certainly playing for us, of course he was on loan last season for a period at Bournemouth where he really did tear up the championship, but he has stepped up this year, you know, he's playing at a new higher level and, well, so far this game you've seen it, he's playing well as now Firmino spreads it wide to Moreno, that's a fantastic ball, can the ball go into the box, it can and Bolo hits the crossbar! Oh, I thought he was about to get a first half hat-trick there, but unfortunately the crossbar denies him. But he is playing out of his mind right now. And it looks like we're going to be going into half-time at 2-0 up. And Firmino also performing well. A player who, he's a very good player in FM. And I feel like I should be playing him more than I have been. But with the likes of Goethe and Coutinho in our side, there isn't necessarily always a spot for him. But um, yeah, I'm going to tell the players here, don't get complacent. As you can see, Mbolo a little bit kind of turned off by that. We're going to try and cheer him up. Now he's confused and demote. Hey, excellent. Well, everyone else reacted well. I guess uh, Mbolo wasn't there for the Arsenal 3-0 at half-time, lose 5-3 game. That's going to live on uh, like infamously in my mind. I'm glad the other players remembered it and didn't seem too confused by it. Henderson, free kick, 3-0. I think that is going to be game set and match here. We've looked really comfortable this game. Napoli been completely shut down. And there you have it, Jordan Henson, just with a really nice free kick over the wall, top left corner, keeper cannot get cr across fast enough. And this has been a really great performance, and assuming we don't go on to now lose this somehow, um, it really kind of shows what we've been doing so well this year, especially, I guess, I guess last season we had a good season, you know, we finished second in the league, and we almost won it really, and, and we didn't really strengthen the team massively, but this year has really been a coming of age for some of the younger players we signed. And, um, you know, some of the players who I brought in with this plan of them kind of three or four seasons in making a big impact. And it's good to see them doing that. And games like this are just so pleasing to watch when you've got the likes of Targo, Maya, and Bolo, you know, performing well in the team. You've also got other new signings like Zuma and Lacazette playing fairly well. It's kind of, the plan is coming together now and we're starting to kind of reap the rewards, I guess, rather than me signing a load of first team players immediately. But anyway, uh, John and Henderson struggling a little bit. I'm going to bring on Bazaar just to get some fresh legs on there. He's also booked as well as being a little bit uh, unfit, so might as well make the change there anyway. But long throw in there by Napoli. That was an interesting set piece. Oh, my gosh. What happened there? Did Akiba make a save? I'm confused. It said Milanov denied... Oh, okay. I got really confused. Now, the commentator along the bottom said Milanov denied a great goal. And I was sat there thinking, well, I don't have a goalkeeper called Milanov, but what I meant was the goal scorer was denied a great goal by the save of, um, is it Consigli? It is Consigli. Anyway, five minutes left. We'll make one last change. I'm going to bring on Firmino. He's struggling a little bit, but I kind of just want to bring him on, let him get you know a little bit of a run out, stretch his legs, get some fitness. Uh, and yeah, hopefully he won't aggravate his injury in the remaining time. But anyway, we've got to we've got to stay switched on Rondon on the break here. I'd love to keep a clean sheet. Post is hit. Moreno clears it away. 
and the, the clean sheet almost lost there, but we still do cling on to it for the moment, although there's still a set piece here. Napoli, they've had a few chances in this second half. They've not had any clear-cut chances, but they've definitely upped their game. But um, time is whittling away here. We're going to win it. We're going to keep a clean sheet. Fabregas gets injured in the 90th minute. And uh, that is going to be all she wrote for this game. 3-0, a good way to, I guess, answer back for our result last time out where we lost 5-3 against Napoli. Um, really sums up the form we've been doing, uh, the kind of the form I guess we've been having and how well we've been doing in the league. Um, two wins in two big games though. Napoli and United, you know, they were going to be big games for us. We now guarantee ourselves a spot in the knockout round. Probably won't do that, uh, kind of commentate the game against Barcelona now because we've got a Spurs game coming up too. Mignolet out with a broken arm though. That's going to be bad. That is going to mean considerably needs to come in. Apparently he broke his arm after being struck by the ball. How hard was this ball hit? I mean, to be fair, Reese did break Alan Smith's leg that time, didn't he? So it's not impossible. Jeez. Right, so Consigli is going to have to make some big performances in goal for us, I guess. And Bono with the man of the match. That's really pleasing to see. This guy, he's got a lot of potential to fulfil and I really want him to succeed. You can see we paid £20 million for him. Really not perhaps had that repaid just yet, but if you can put in some more performances like that one against Napoli, um, you know, he's going to be on his way there. Anyway, as I mentioned, the next game is going to be that game against Tottenham. So there's only two matches until that one. The reason for doing that game is uh, Tottenham currently sit third in the league. So it's going to be a fairly big game in terms of shaping our season. We are also going to have the Capital One Cup quarterfinal against Swansea, which I'm not going to do. Uh, looking further forward, we have also got an Everton game, which I might do. I might not. I might. We'll, see, we'll kind of see how things are going. And how results fall, I think. We've been doing a lot of live comms lately. But I do feel like it's important to show you guys the big games. The ones that really can make or break seasons. And I definitely think that Spurs one is going to be an important one for us. But anyway, that's going to wrap up this video from you guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you have enjoyed the video, please do smash the like button. And other than that, it is me, Jack. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.